Hi guys, um, it is May 31st, 2013. Uh, this is actually an impromptu video, I was not expecting to do this. Um, this is, I'm actually just kind of working on the Inspiron a little bit. Um, this is the, the Dell Inspiron 1525 that, um, the one that definitely needs to be, uh, yeah, it definitely needs some work. Um, I'll do kind of an outside tour around it later when I get done with this. However, I'm going to uh, use HED Health really quick and I'm going to check the hard drive. I mean, right now it's acting normal, but uh, not all the time. It doesn't always act, act as stable as this. Normally, uh, the fan is howling, you know, uh, software doesn't load properly half the time, and it's, yeah, it's just, ugh, it's just, um, whoops, sorry about that, I put my hand in front of the camera. So right now I've got to find that installation right here, and I'm logged in as administ <coughs> administrator, so it's not going to be a oh maybe it is. All right, uh, hold on, I got to put the camera down really quick. Oh, never mind. Okay. There we go. Let's see what happens. Okay, next. Yeah, we're just uh, installing here. Oops, and I'm gonna put my hand over the thing so I can change that. That's fine. This is a 32-bit OS. I'm kind of just doing this because. And uh, that noise that you hear in the background, um, I'm, I'm actually in my computer room right now. That is actually, if you guys can hear it, that is the PowerEdge T110 server that I showed you. Um, my website is actually up if you guys care to go to it. It's accesscop.org, http colon slash slash accessscop.org. It's kind of bare at the moment, but um, uh, I will be working to actually add some content to it uh, probably this evening, so you guys should see some rather interesting stuff, but anyway, the server is probably running, the fan is probably running at about double speed, it's not usually this loud, because it's about, um, uh, I would say 88 to maybe 90 degrees here, well, I don't know, but yeah, anyway, so that, that's what you're hearing. Okay. I don't care about that, I just want this thing to install properly. That's fine. Whoops. Oh, wow. Whoops. I think I backed it up accidentally. Whatever. I don't care. I just want this thing to show the progress. Thankfully, I didn't have to enter my password. I would have on the latitude because on the Inspiron, I'm actually running as administrator, and on the Latitude, I'm running as a standard user, because that's my everyday computer. This one, this one, um, I think, you know, once I fix the fan and we fix the hinge and the display, um, which I'll show you later, I think I'm actually going to uh, install OpenZUSA Linux on this uh, computer. I'll do a video of that once I get it set up, but... Um, yes. So. What in the world? Okay. And it's restarting. <laughs> That's odd. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I was not expecting the thing to have to restart. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, man. I was not expecting <laughs> to restart. It must have been updating or something, so we'll have to wait for it to restart then. Yeah, you have to wait for it. Ah. There's the Windows 7. This thing's actually running Windows 7 at the moment. So, 
Yeah, you guys may not be able to see it very well, but yeah, I can see it quite well actually. It's very slow. There's so much stuff on here, but crap. I wonder if that even finished installing. Wow. See, yeah, the audio skips. That's like not a good sign at all. Yeah, the audio just skips. It's not good. Okay, it's probably gonna ask me to enter my password. Windows. Put the camera down. Hold on, so I can type. Oops. Oh, there goes the fan on the Inspiron. How long? Uh, Whoops. Oh, shoot. Focus, focus, focus. Thank you. Stupid. Stupid iPhone. Okay, hold on. So, let me see. Is it uh, in the system tray? Let's see. Oops. Let's see what happens here. Oh, you know what? Mm, oops. Shoot, hold on. I gotta put the camera down. Type here. I don't know, you're kidding me. Charles is just like... That's not good. Okay, Charles just totally... Hold on. Let me try another one. This, uh... Just totally copped. Hold on. Yeah, my computer's audio is being, oops. Pain in my butt right now. I need to see why this. Ah, shoot. Let's cold start it. Sorry about this, guys. I was expecting this to just work. I was not expecting to have to cold start the computer again, but it appears I do. Hold on, I gotta click. Start window, uh, shoot, I hope I hit. Start windows normally, I think I did. Let's see, ah, shoot. Dang it. Oh dang, that was not what I was expecting, but that happened before. See, this is what I mean when I say there are just like, you know, inherent issues with this computer. Like, my audio just totally, just totally went kaboom. It just like totally crashed, and hence the reason why I have to restart yet again. And I don't know why it restarted, like I said probably updates, but as far as I can tell, this thing is not even connected to the network. I didn't even check. So, I don't know why it's doing this, but we'll have to see what happens when it restarts. Hopefully, audio won't crash again. There we go. The audio is a little stuttery, as you can tell from that startup sound. But, amazingly, the startup sound on this computer is more stable than the one on the Latitude, the, I don't know, the Latitude is running Windows 8, and for some reason that does not have a stable startup sound for whatever reason. I don't understand Windows why. Windows. And it's the strangest thing. Um, hold on, I gotta type my password in again, so I'll put the camera down. Star. Star. Oops. Well, no, I cannot type, apparently. Star, 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 star. There we go. All right. Um. Uh. 
Hold on. So I should have audio first. Let's see. Audio, 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 audio. Come on, come on, come on. Hold on. My screen reader is just taking its time and not loading like it should. I have to do this sometimes. Just get it to work. It's a pain in the Pain in my buns. What just happened here? Oh, okay. So let me see something. You know, hold on, let me, uh, let me show this. Let me do the this insert F11. You can see it a little better. Okay, if you guys can see this, this is um, yeah. Let me know if I'm not showing this, but this is uh, very interesting. So we know that there's nothing wrong with this computer's hard drive, which is good. Oh, um, uh, as you can see, well, whoops, hold on, my stupid, ugh, this left hinge is so weak, it's not even funny. Um, if you can see this, the, uh, on the system tray here, I have it up via, like, my screen reader's method, it just shows a, uh, JAWS for Windows will just show a list of icons, so you can see them clearly. Um, or you might be able to see it on the taskbar, I'm not sure. Uh, if you guys can't see it, let me know. But there is a Western Digital hard drive in this computer, and it is actually running according to HDD Health, which uses um, smart monitoring technology. It is actually running at 100%, which is a good sign, which means that as far as this program is concerned, and as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing wrong with, it, with this hard drive which is a good sign because it means I can reformat it and I can put Zusa on it and it means it's only the fan that seems to be causing the problem so th that's what I wanted to show you on that so let me um, let me shut it down really quick hold on let me shut it down yeah let me shut it down because And again, I don't know why it restarted earlier. That's kind of baffling. Okay, we're going to shut it down. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what I mean by the display. Holy mackerel, it's terrible. You should see it. Yeah, you should see it. It's awful. Okay, we're shut down. Um, I'm actually going to shut the lid. Hold on. I need to put the flash on on the camera because I can't. Oh, I can't. Shoot. I'm sorry. I can't turn the darn flash on. Okay. And there's no light in here. Anyway, well, if you guys can see this, here is the um, top of the computer. Um, well, let me pull this. Oh, no, that's not good. Okay, hold on. Let's plug unplug the AC adapter. This thing is as fragile as it is. I, I don't want it running unless it absolutely has to. There we go. It'll just fall out, whatever. I don't care. There's the USB drive I had. I'll put that aside. Um, so I'm going to stand up here so you can see this. I'm going to flip this thing up. So if you guys can see this, we've got, you know, a uh, headphone jack, uh, there's an SD card slot, you know, headphone jack, mic jack, whoa, and this hinge is so bad, it's not even funny. Um, uh, well. I can move this. We got CD-ROM drive, a couple of USB ports. I don't, I don't know if you guys can can really see that very well. Plus, I don't know what that is. Looks like either a Kensington lock. Oh my lord! I didn't even know this. There is a. 
Wow. Huh. Wow, guys. I've had this computer since 2008, and I didn't even know this. On the right side, there is a 50, mil, uh, 50 millimeter express slot there. I'm not sure if I'm showing that to you guys very well. But if I flip this thing up on the top, if you guys look right at that display, right where my finger is, it's almost cracked in half. I need to like, I need to fix that. And then the fan, like, hardly ever does anything. So anyway, that's kind of a little bit of a look around the Inspiron 1525. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this um, rather random video that I did. I was not expecting to do this. And I'll see you guys in a bit because I'm going to do another demo in a little bit uh, when I get downstairs. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Stop it.